lovelies, I'm Ruby, nice to meet you. As of about five minutes ago, all of my mates who are going to uni have now left for uni. Um, I'm still here, it's the 26th of September and I don't leave till the 2nd of October, so I've got about six days left. I thought this would be a good time to start vlog number zero, which is going to be all about how I'm preparing to go to uni for the first time. Um, there's going to be a couple of running themes throughout this. Um, one of them is going to be my recommended readings. Uh, I have so many readings, it's not even funny. Um, I don't intend on doing them all by any means, but I'm a little bit stressed about how little I have done. So we're going to try and do that. I'm going to try and use you guys as my motivation to get back into the studying mindset. Um, I've ordered most of the stuff that I need for uni, but there's some complications. There's some bits and bobs I'm missing. So we might go on a couple of shopping trips together um, where I just show you the kind of stuff I'm buying, um, particularly Oh, that's another thing. Um, I don't just want to buy stuff. I also, so there's a cork board in our room, uh, in each of our rooms, and I want to make some art. So I did art A-level for those of you who don't know. Um, and I want to make some art for those um, to sort of go alongside the photos and stuff that I'm going to bring. So that's going to be another mini project. Another project is that I'm making some other art for my friend's birthday. Um, so I need to get on that as well. Um, and also just generally, you're going to watch as I sort of pack and put things together uh, just before I go. Hair is up so you know it's serious. Uh, job one for today is that my room is looking a little bit scrappy at the moment uh, and I'd like to get some of that cleared up. I have a mate coming over today who's not going to uni so that's why she's still here um, and we're just gonna make some lunch um, and it should be really nice catch up and talk about shit but um, obviously I cannot invite her into a room that is this state so we're gonna clean that first. <laughs> I bought for uni um recently was a laptop stand because like I have a bad back so I can't like hunch over and use a laptop um and I didn't want to like get a second screen because that's spenny so um I just got this stand I wasn't sure if I was using it right but I googled it and this is how people seem to set it up um it doesn't feel right though because the obviously the keyboard's angled and it doesn't I don't know how to I don't know how you're meant to like, I'm not used to using a, lap a uh, keyboard like that. So if anyone has any tips. Feeling very study influencer with this setup and all of the notes that I haven't done. So I don't read group chats, um, but I finally just found out that the appar apparently the college freshers program has been released for a couple of days now. Um, so I have access to that. That's very exciting. Um, it makes it feel a lot more real and it also makes me quite scared because it's very very intense although i thought we only had three days before lectures started and it turns out we have five which is much better um because <laughs> that gives us a bit more time when we're there to get settled in but um yeah so i'm just kind of going through and putting some stuff into my calendar just so i sort of have access to it on my phone um, and so it's a bit more digestible than the quite intense spreadsheet because I just want to make sure I go to the stuff that I have to go to um, and don't miss anything important. Um, but yeah, it's making it feel a bit more real, which is nice because so far, because I go so late, it's felt a little bit like everyone else is leaving and I'm just being left behind. But um, this makes it feel more like, yeah, I'm going somewhere too. I'm doing something as well. Uh, so yeah, and then in about like five minutes, I have to leave to go and meet my friend and we're gonna, uh, buy some stuff to make some food. Today is pretty simple. I've got this racer back top and these flares, and then I have my absolute chunkers on my feet. Uh, I've got my leather jacket on, and then for my accessories, I've just got plain gold hoops in my ears. Um, I've got this tarot card necklace. Um, these are matching with my girlfriend, um, and it's really, really beautiful. I think it's from Not On The High Street. Um, same with, so I've got these rings as well. This ring again. Uh, girlfriend got it for me um, and then I've got to carry all of the food shop um, I've got my bag from the tape from a while ago if you're the sort of person who likes tote bags but you don't like sort of how flimsy they are they usually don't have pockets and stuff I'd really recommend this one it's like properly reinforced and inside it's got can I show you um and inside it's got this like second pocket that zips it's honestly so useful so would recommend say hello ah! okay so yeah we um <laughs> We've decided we're gonna cook a like 
teriyaki vegetable Dish. noodle mix. Um, with some odd veg. Yeah, we've okay. been given a mission by my dad to get rid of some of our veg before it goes off. So <laughs> we're cooking with veg that we never seen before. <laughs> never heard of. Before. Should be fun. We will give you updates. <laughs> and I have not done anything today. Um, so what I'm gonna do is we are going to take a trip to a coffee shop uh, and we're gonna work there. We're gonna do readings today. Readings is the goal today. Um, and I'm going out for dinner with my aunt tonight, uh, which should be really nice. Um, but that's like my only plan today. Uh, and then maybe I don't know when I'm gonna get back from that, but if I get back early enough, I might do some art this evening. I might be being too hopeful, but I am kind of realising how much I've got to do and not very much time to do it. I have five days, I think, five days? Quick fire up of the day, um, we've got this top, it's actually a bodysuit which I cut, then I've got these trousers that I picked up from a charity shop ages ago, they're like men's and they're way too big for me, but they're so comfy and I wear them for everything, um, and then we have the same shoes, same jacket, same bag and same jewellery as yesterday, and I've got my hair up because we are taking today seriously. <laughs> before I left London just because London has such good charity shops. Uh, so today I picked up these, aren't they snazzy? Um, they're a little bit louder than my usual current taste but I quite like them, they're in brown and black and they're basically the only colours I wear so <laughs> um, I feel that it means that they go with a lot of the plain tops I have, I just tried it with this one. Um, but I think they are meant to be flares, they're a little bit big on the legs. Um, I think this is meant to sort of be there and then come out there and then also they're a little bit long. So I'm gonna do some adjusting on my sewing machine. That's my project for this afternoon and I will come back to you. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna leave to go to dinner with my aunt in like 10 minutes, but um, while I was out, I picked up a couple, a couple of last things that I need for uni before I go. Uh, one of those things was the trousers. They were a surprise find. Um, I have hand them. They don't look very good um, because I'm not a great sewer by any means. <laughs> um, I'm not a seamstress, but um, still happy with them. And now they sort of, now I can wear them in a club without stepping on them basically, which was the main goal. Um, but I did pick up some other stuff, so I thought I would show you. So I picked up a new hairbrush because my current hairbrush, I've been using this stupid travel one, um, and all of the bits on the top keep coming off and they come out in my hair. And I've had friends like pick out the bits from the top of the, you know, do you know the ones I made? Hold on, are they on here as well? Yeah, you know the little bulbs at the top, right? They're, they're coming off in my hair. Um, my hair's actually cooperating quite well at the moment, but usually it can be quite a quite a nightmare to deal with with a brush. So, got a new one just so that I don't have to be dealing with that while I'm at uni. Um, I've been meaning to do that for like, I've been meaning to buy a new brush for like months and I just haven't. And I thought now is the time. Um, I also this was a, this was a stupid 
buy. I didn't, I don't need these, but I wanted them. Um, I picked up these cute little fairy lights. So the theme for my room, much like the way I dress, the theme for my room is like, like a charcoal gray, mostly like quite plain, like theme with just, and then I'm gonna have some art that sort of pops out. Um, and these were really pretty. Look, when even, cause even when they're off, they're like on theme is what I wanted. Um, because I have that net of fairy lights. Um, they are a bit old and a bit broken. Um, <laughs> but they look a bit like a weird spider's nest when they're off. So I wanted some that would look really cute on like the top of my bed or something like that. And they're battery powered. So I don't have to worry about them being near an outlet. I was really late buying like plates and bowls and stuff like that. Um, and thank God I was because Tiger came out after I really should have bought my stuff, but hadn't with these, this like beautiful set. I have the whole set, but I hadn't bought a small bowl, but they came out with this set of like gray, um, sort of bowls and, and stuff like that. And I think they're really pretty. Um, they work perfectly with what I wanted. Um, and also I wanted plates and bowls and stuff that weren't white because I didn't want them to get mixed up with other people's. Um, and they seem to be relatively good quality. It was my tiny little haul from today. And now I'm gonna go and have some dinner. <laughs> Today is day one of the induction program that my uni is running for freshers. Um, I think it's like a webinar series. They do one every day for three days and today is the first. Um, I can't remember what it's about. Most of them are about things like sort of study skills, settling in, stuff like that. Um, so I'll look that up. Um, apart from that, I don't have anything for the rest of the day. In the evening, I'm going out with a friend of mine who, he's at uni, but he's at uni in London. So I'm gonna go and see his accommodation and then we're gonna go out and that should be really, really nice. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I don't have much to do. Um, I have two hours-ish. Yeah, I have two hours until that induction program starts. So I'm probably just gonna carry on with the reading that I was doing. I really, really want to get Leviathan done. <laughs> but also a brief interruption. Um, I ordered a mirror a few days ago for uni. <clears throat> so, you know, I could see my fits and it came cracked. Um, so we like emailed the company and they were really nice about it and they sent another one. So we're gonna open it. Um, I'm gonna be very careful with it. <laughs> okay, okay, careful, careful. I've no idea whether this is angled so you can see it, but I mean, it's a mirror, it's nothing too exciting. Okay, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Oh, it's upside down. Moment of truth. Ah! Moment of truth, moment of truth, moment of truth. Oh, it's not cracked! It's not cracked! She's complete. Call me an engineer. I just... Me forgetting to film an outro? Never! But that's gonna be the end of this video. As you can probably see around me, I'm surrounded by mess, which means that next time you'll be tuning in to come pack with me and actually move into uni. So that's gonna be super exciting. That'll be up within the next week. And I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of my face, you can go follow my TikTok or Instagram, or just tune in, subscribe for the next one. And I'll see you there. Lots of love. Bye-bye.